Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. All right, I'm back for more punishment. You know, I've learned some things about this game. <laughs> as I actually have it on the, the PS4 uh, as well. And I don't know, I seem to like it better on the PS4 than the PC that we're playing here. Uh, I don't know why, but it just, it just seems to respond better. But I know why I'm doing so badly. I know what I need to do. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it, but the gear I've got absolutely sucks. I mean, I just noticed I had like a level one. Um, I had a level one uh, assault rifle. I have just switched it out to this level four. That will probably help. Plus, it has a mod. Uh, killing shots replenish 35 points of health. What? To allies? What about me? Oh, great. Anyway, so we've got this level 3 uh, shotgun and a level 4 space cowboy. And these, these things here, look, level 2 helmet. At least we've got a level 4 uh, armor here, level 3, level 2. So, yeah, this guy is really poorly prepared. And I'm thinking, you know, maybe the secret to this is uh, doing a lot of the side missions first. I'm not sure, but let's let's see what we can do. We'll skip that because oh, it's a shame you won't last a day. Go again. Tricks are a little old, sir.
refill, restock. So you're immune to me. I'll just have to stay away from you then. Your immunity is about to wear off. Uh oh, lightning storm. Alright, it's run out. You're gonna ask me where I'm hiding? always been hiding right behind you and so outrider you've had your first kill we also do not die so easily do we Seth come we must speak They asked you to help them. To fight the altar down there. Why didn't you? That pathetic monstrosity was a distraction. People are dying because of him. Without the supply route open... They all die. These feeble creatures. Slaughtering each other over scraps. You waste your gifts. Running errands for them. Trying to win their meaningless, endless war. You must realize... You are not like them anymore. So what? I should play at being a god like you. I am not playing. <laughs> but you are something even more. Altered and Outrider. The last Outrider. Do what you were sent here for. Go beyond the frontier. These people need their gods. Only one like you could lead them to a future. Why not you? They call him Moloch. I fight another war far above this petty squalor. My war is with the worst of our kind. This one is too powerful. He will destroy us all unless I hunt him down. But this is not your fight. <sighs> You are to be the shepherd. Find a way for them out of this slaughter. Outrider. Hmm. Shepherd? Like Commander Shepherd? Is that a call out to Mass Effect? Sure, it's done. Your supply line's open. I'm heading home. I can't believe it. How 
Ryder, what you just did. I've left a hundred men trying. Don't thank me yet. You still got a war to win. Not sure anyone's winning this goddamn war. But there's something even more important you might be able to do. Come see me in my bunker. So yeah, as you can see, we have gone back to World Tier 3. I think I sort of understand this game now. And I do realize, ooh, let's uh, equip these Warden Gloves. That it is all about the gear. Just pick up, pick up, thank you. And plus, this particular boss here is predictable once you know his attacks and what he was going to do. I was just a, a chump the last time, or just standing there getting blown up by his mines and his storms, but uh, yeah, he's handled. Alright, let's continue. Take it. I'm gonna go ahead and give him health. But I, I was looking at these skill trees and I see something very encouraging right here. Increase the cooldown of your damage skills by 15%. That's what I'm looking for because unlike some people that are playing this game, I think the cooldowns are too long. I mean, I took out a wave of, of enemies, you know, with, with an attack, and then a second wave comes, and I have absolutely no powers. I mean, that, that just cannot happen. <laughs> it's like, so it's like you get to use your abilities once in a fight. That's uh, very Destiny-ish. I don't believe you. They do, Peck. Yeah, good. Sure. The signal in the forest. You remember it? Yeah, like it was yesterday. You still have its frequency, don't you? You mean this frequency? Curva. You got the winning lotto numbers tattooed on your ass cheek, too? Still mm. don't believe me? Ugh, I hate when you play the I told you so. That signal is still playing like a distant echo. It's digital which means it must be coming from a place where there is no anomaly. The problem is, we've never been able to locate its source because we've never had the right frequency. Until you showed up. So now, listen close, you need to bring those precise numbers to Dr. Abraham Zahidi, one of our last scientists. Bullshit. He's been deep in enemy territory for weeks now. Five rations says Zahidi's dead. We don't know that. You... I've seen you before. It was in the med lab. You woke me out of cryo. Guess life's real funny that way. Meet Jane, sniper, first class. She almost died trying to save his life. She'll guide you. Wait, Shira. When we landed, that signal was already playing. Do you have any idea who or what is sending it? Do yourself a favor. Don't ask that question. Whatever's out there, they don't want to be found. And whoever goes looking for that fucking signal ends up dead. But it's the only chance we've got. And if anyone can get there alive, it's all of you. Chira, come on. Jakob! I... That's in order. She's come a long way. Sorry I left you to die in that med lab. In a Ain't bad no way. Didn't really have a choice. <laughs> I'd have done the same. Well... Spread the word. Right. Whoever finds McCain gets a week home from the front. Two weeks if they find him alive. 
So I'm gonna have to go back on what I said. I mean, it's it's funny how you play these games, and it's like when I first started playing it, I was all in and it was exciting. Then it got more difficult, and I wasn't playing bitch. it quite right, and I was dying all the time. And then I said, like, "Oh, you know, forget this." But I'm back. <laughs> I'm kind of enjoying it. I think I worked out my issues on the uh, the PlayStation. I told you that if you pissed him off, we get guard duty. All right, let's go back and visit her. And yet here we are. I know you have a million questions, but I don't have time. You let me sleep in a few too many fucking years. I think you can find some time. How did this war start? How did it all begin? Why'd you start fighting? When the anomaly got bad, we had only just begun the colonization. There were still more than half a million frozen in cryo waiting for us to wake them. But we already knew we couldn't feed them all. So one faction argued to just pull the power and let them die in their sleep, preserve the resources we had. The others wanted to give them a chance to live. I can guess which side you were on. I was... I was wrong. We tried to be fair and to ration what we had. But it only led to bloodshed. What do the insurgents want? Your enemy. What did they want? What do any of us want? To have enough. But there isn't. Enough food, enough water, anything. They won't settle until they have all we have. They want to destroy us. So I need to destroy them first. How many altered are there? And people, I don't know if you're seeing this. This is a major complaint that a lot of uh, people that have been playing the demo have is this shaky camera and I mean I, I know they're I guess they're trying to go with this gritty feel and whatnot but it is annoying <laughs> I have to say it's like I didn't really notice it that much until I started you know looking at other YouTube videos and people complaining about it but I mean if there's anything that they can do people can fly if you could do anything to stabilize the camera that would really go a long way to making this a better game all right so how many altered are there what am i now altered help me understand what do you want to know how many are there there are lesser ones all over with small and strange mutations but those with true power only a handful Still more than I'm comfortable with. But the soldiers revere them as gods. Who do the altered fight for? The other altered out there. Who do they fight for? Whoever the fuck they want, you think anyone controls them? The ones who fight with us, they at least seem to have a reason for it. Some shred of humanity still. But on the other side, they're demonic, wrathful gods, machines of death. There's nothing human left. That won't happen to me. I pray that's true. Is that the picture you took on landing day? This is insane. I watched you take this photo a few hours ago. That was a lifetime ago. That girl you met that day is long gone. That girl could never have survived. <sighs> take it. I don't need it anymore.
The situation on the front line looks bad. You've been gone too long to understand how truly fucked we are. There can be more than 50 or 60,000 of us left. More on the other side than ours. Soon there'll be none of us left to fight. The insurgents' last assault was a... distraction. They were digging tunnels and planting charges right beneath us. They blew our front line all to hell. I noticed. The reports of casualties are uncountable. And one of my best men was out there, Lieutenant McCain. But a message just got through. And he's trapped under the rubble, still alive. I don't have any more men to spare. I need you to get him out. Hmm. All right, I accept. It's the least I can do. I want to hear the moment our search parties turn up anything about McCain. All right, looks like we're done here. And I, I've listened to other... This uh, McCain is still alive. I need to find him. Yes, you do. So, Jacob, <laughs> what do you think the signal is? Beats me. Just some fake hope bullshit for losers who can't accept the world has gone to shit. But I guess that's our goddamn mission now. So meet us at my garage when you're ready. Okay. So, as I was trying to say, maybe I shouldn't walk because it might trigger some more dialogue. Another complaint that I saw, which I disagree with, um, is the cutscenes. That they're saying that the voice acting is bad and, and whatnot. I, I find them pretty riveting, but I enjoy it. I, I like the story components of this. And I like to see what has happened to the characters. I, I definitely see growth and changes and tragedy and sadness. I mean, it, it is here. It is woven into the story. And I don't have a problem with it. All right, so, Jakob. Oh, oh okay, we're world tier three. I'm only level five, so... What does Jakob want? I don't think we're ready to do this. Isn't this the end of the game? Just think, if this mission gets me killed, we'll never have to look at this town again. What happened to the other Outriders? What happened to everyone else? None of the other Outriders survived? Well, you had front row seats for the shit show that started it all. You know, most of us were dead that first day. The few dozen that were left, they did what we came here to do. They fucking explored. I mean, who do you think died trying to figure out we couldn't leave this fucking valley? How did you survive? Why are you the only outrider alive? Do you think I was going to explore this damn planet after what we saw? Fuck them. Let them have my badge. I didn't need to be an outrider that bad anyway. All right, let's head out. As the last remnants of humanity destroy themselves, the signal is still out there. And with it lies the key to our salvation. We journey from the ruins of our old world and into what lies beyond. Things I've seen, even I do not believe them. Where I am taking these two, there's no coming back. You think you're dreaming? What the? This is real. Get on! Do what 
Super Set here for? Go! Beyond the frontier! It's the end of the goddamn world out there! All this persistence! This world is crashing down! And what will be left? Beyond here, there's only death. I'm finding that signal. Okay, and that is the conclusion of the demo. It is, uh, I guess, that short. However, there are um, side missions that we haven't done. We'll look at that. There is the opportunity to get to level 7. We'll look at that as well. Um, I think that's going to be all for this episode. So until next time, this is Hill.